Welcome back. We are still traversing sweet potato farms from Kericho to Bomet and even Homa Bay. And the key to the transformation in this sector lies in value addition. In Kasipul Kabondo, sweet potato farmers may not be reaping big from the international market but they have good local networks that keep them going. At the market centers, middlemen are also smiling all the way to the banks. Kuna wa biashara wanakuja kuchukua hapa. Kuna wengine wanapeleka aero, naivasha, anakuru na gelgel. Pia wana 1200, 1200. Okay, sisi kitu wakichukua na hiyo 1200 sisi pia tunakula Meanwhile, sweet potato meals would be keeping families healthy. Traditionally, the tubers are boiled. During my assignment, I found time to join this family for such a meal. And it is a delicacy like to this family in Kanyadawa village. But with value addition, you get products like this. Mama, je unajua kuna mkate inatengenezwa kutokana na unga wa viazi vitamu anajua iko mhm mm mm. ulijuaje nilis nasikia tu ikisema lakini sijawahi ona na macho sasa ndio umeona mara ya kwanza eh mkate ndio hii za sebui angalie mhm imetengenezwa Nime, imetengenezwa na viazi ndio mhm sasa tutakupatia upatie watoto hawa mm. waonje Eh? What is Eh, kwa mkebe moja na nisaidia kulisha watoto kulipa school fees kwa maisha ya watoto It is at this juncture that we cross over to Bomet County again to understand how bread is made from sweet potato flour This bakery is managed by the county cooperative union that is championing value addition it is the first of its kind in the whole county, with similar initiatives having taken root, especially in Homer Bay County. The sweet potatoes are sorted into grades and different colors. They are then cleaned at various stages. From there, this machine is the next destination for cutting into small pieces. For now, one such machine is enough, handled by one person. The slices are then spread on trays, again depending on colors, after which the trays are fed into an electric dryer. Several trees in layers can fit into the machine. Next, the dry sweet potato slices have to be turned into flour. Again, one meal in this bakery is enough. It is the sweet potato flour that is then mixed in the ratio of one to one with wheat flour to make products like cookies and bread. And as the process continues, Bars are streaming in. As much as we are encouraging these farmers to grow for the, for, the, for the UK market, remember, trading will be done. And we say for farmers not to, to lose the ones which are rejects uh, because they have not met the standard of the size, maybe it is oversized, but we can use it, we can mill it, we can um, use it to bake uh, bread because we want to value add so that the farmer doesn't get a, a loss. We make sure that the county has bought all the, pota all the sweet potatoes from the farmer. Not when they reach the creding, creding area, they are told to take it home, but we will be taking so that we add value in it. The bakery can produce about 240 breads per hour. 
So sweet potato is no longer just a poor man's food. The flour that is used to make the bread would be the same flour many in the rural areas would be using for a much simpler yet important purpose to make porridge, a highly nutritious meal. In London, you will be surprised to find that the Kenyan sweet potato is on the dining tables thanks to value addition. Brilliant restaurant that is found in South Hall near Heathrow Airport is known for sweet potato meals that are not prepared in the form you know, but through expert cookery that suits different clientele. We've tried to make different dishes out of a sweet potato, which is a traditional dish. But we have made that a bit more exciting by adding spices. The way we cook, we've turned out into Chinese food, into proper Indian food, into burgers. And these are different recipes which we've created here. We've served this food even at Buckingham Palace. We've had the likes of Prince Charles to try our sweet potato dish, which comes from Kenya. A poor man's food or a product that before was seen as valueless, rotting in the middle of the field somewhere where people has no value, all of a sudden is being consumed at the palace. It's a prince's food. So it's no longer poor man's food. The, what we have ignored is not just the health value, but the power of marketing, branding, and targeting a very specific niche market. We've worked out with a, a university here who's actually tested these products with storage life, shelf life, and quality control. We've been working this with the Sukoma, with the Perez, and Sam Cheng for the past three years. Sweet potato, once it comes out from there, you can store it for six months. Now we're also taking them to supermarkets. Um, uh, the crisps are going to be available in supermarkets and high-end you know, uh, health food shops. Um, if you want purely fresh potatoes, we can deliver them to your homes or you can pick them here, pick them from our distribution center. Or most importantly, if you're looking for the crisps, which is uh, more or less, you know, share with your mate is the theme of the program, a very healthy option for those who are snacking. Uh, they are available here, they're available where we are processing them. But the message to the key stakeholders that I would like to pass, we need to set up a, a directory for the sweet potato sector. It is going to be a big thing. It is not a joke. We have done a lot of marketing and uh, it is uh, something that I'm willing to drive on from henceforth because uh, with the networks and the knowledge and the linkages with both uh, technical universities and other people, we have been able to develop a formula. That's all we had time for in today's show. We've taken you through the value chain right from the farms to dining tables in the UK. And observers say if this is replicated across sweet potato growing counties in Kenya, it could transform many lives. We take this opportunity to thank you for watching and bye bye for now.